one should control nature. No one should control life. No one should have that right to put patents on nature and life. As long as my wife and I have life within us, we will always go down to fight for the rights of farmers, always to be able to use their seed from year to year. No one should take that right away from anyone. Percy Schmeiser operates a 650 hectare farm which his grandparents, immigrants from Bavaria and Austria, cultivated 100 years ago. In 1996, Monsanto introduced its genetically modified canola to Canada. A heavy storm during harvest time blew it onto Percy Schmeiser's fields. In August 1998, he was sued for illegally cultivating patented seeds from Monsanto. Two courts sentenced him to pay damages to Monsanto of roughly $100,000, but refusing to be intimidated by the chemical giant, he took the case as far as the Canadian Supreme Court. Farmers here are very fierce, independent people because they have to be. They left their homeland 100 or 75 years ago to come to a new country. They had to work together. My grandparents and my parents had to work together with our neighbors to build our country, our roads, uh, open up our land and the schools, hospitals. And they're not going to stand for a multinational come in and try and take those rights away. And if the government will not help us or protect us, the farmers themselves will protect themselves and say to a company, enough is enough, we will not take any more from you. patent on that gene that's in that pollen and it gets in your field, you no longer own your seeds or plants. So you could have one plant, GMO, and all these could be regular or organic, but through patent law, they can claim all of your plants because you don't know which one is GMO, which is not. It, it was scary at times, you just never known. And the phone calls, you know, where there'd be somebody on the line saying, you better watch it, they're gonna get you. So it was pretty scary and I was very concerned when I was gone uh, that something would happen to her. And when they would watch us, especially in our own house here, they watched day and days on end, every move we made from our house and for our office would be used for the land. Uh, I felt like I was a prisoner in my own home. They did everything to bring us down financially and mentally. And that's what they're doing, is to mentally and financially break people. They're just, they are totally ruthless. They have no ethics, they have no morals. It's the bottom line. My wife is a very strong person. She has a very deep faith. And many times she has said to me, she believes that she prayed more at night than what she slept. And many times I would wake up at night and think, my God, what am I doing to my wife and my family? There was you know, a approximately $200,000 judgment that was set aside by the Supreme Court of Canada today. And that uh, to Percy is a fairly major victory. Well, I really feel that the fact that um, I can save my farm, save my home uh, without paying the cost to Monsanto, you know, I was looking at a $200,000 bill. Uh, so that is a major victory to me. And the first thing I said, I got a roof over my head. <laughs> and that was very important to me. The other part of the problem is what, what responsibilities do biotech companies have to farmers for patented material that escapes and uh, causes damage. That issue is yet to come up. Monsanto's patent on a gene is valid. And wherever that gene arises, by whatever means, in any higher life form, they own and control that life form. And when I use the term higher life form, I don't only mean seeds or plants, it's birds, bees, animals, even a human being. So now we have more questions than we have answers in Canada in regards who owns life. Percy 
Senator Louis Schmeisser and you the world to wake up for. The jury honors the Schmeisser for their courage in defending biodiversity and farmers' rights and challenging the environmental and moral diversity of current interpretations of patent laws. It's a very great pleasure to present the 2007 Right out of the world to Percy and Louis Schmeisser. and I have five children, 15 grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. And we often thought, what kind of a future do, do we want to leave to the young generation? Did we want to leave a future with land, soil, water full of poisons? And I don't think anyone here would want that sort of a future for the next generation. And we still have a chance to do it.